All right, guys, so after my last video where I compared a CNC mold to a resin 3D printed mold, the only thing that was better in the CNC mold was the lure was a little bit shinier. Well, a lot shinier. So I set out on a quest to get my resin 3D printed molds as shiny as CNC. Let's go see how I did. All right, so I decided to try to make my molds as shiny as a CNC aluminum mold. And I set out to use some stuff that I've seen used in the past on other like plaster of Paris molds and things. And something that I've seen used in resin 3D printers to repair kind of surfaces, but I thought it was worth a shot. So I'm using the same fiddle fin mold I used before. And what I'm going to do is apply three different spray paints, some worm oil, and some sculpt resin, the same resin I used to 3D print the mold. And let's see how it works. So the spray paints I'm using, I'm using a high heat black, a high heat aluminum, just cause I thought it'd be cool to have aluminum, and an enamel that looked really shiny when it was at the store. So I just simply spray painted these on, kind of mask off areas, spray painted them on. Next up was the sculpt resin. And this is a pretty simple technique as well. I simply pulled some resin out of the vat, placed it in a little cup, used a brush and brushed it into the mold cavity itself. Then I hit it with a UV flashlight to set it, just like your printer works. And then I threw it in my washing cure and cured it for about five minutes. It doesn't really need a full cure. You can do a full cure, of course, but I don't think it needs that long. It's a very thin, thin coat of resin. And that's the secret, thin, thin coats. I try to do the same thing with the spray paints as well. I didn't prime them. I just shot a coat or two, you know, just so I could get coverage. Saving the details over shinier baits was kind of my priority. I don't think, you know, just making it shiny, just to make it shiny and have no detail is that important. And then last but not least, right before I shot this bad boy, I threw some worm oil into the cavity, kind of spread it around with my finger. This was not a great technique at all. Probably would be better to again, use a brush and kind of brush it in there. The thinner the coat, the probably better. There's one other thing I noticed while I was doing all of these is my resin 3D mold was not as smooth as I thought it should be. I'm getting kind of, um, I don't know what you want to say, fuzzier texture, not fuzzy, but like not nice and clean. So I did some research and I'll have my results for my findings, which are really, really awesome in my next video. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see that. So I just grabbed some remelts, grabbed my puck of what I call Galaxy. It's dead on plastic salt water, dead on plastics black with some like just a bunch of glitter thrown in there like some holographic glitter, I think. It's a really cool color, really, really like it. I thought the black would bring out the shininess a bit. Chopped that up, threw it in the microwave, and shot it in the two molds that I had. And here are the results. So first off, when I first cracked this open, I was like, man, the enamel looks spectacular. It looks great. Then when I went to touch it, I realized that it had like, the enamel paint had like come off and it was on the lure, it was everywhere. So I don't think it could handle the temps. Um, I shot at about 320, I think. So obviously not a good result. The paints, the aluminum high heat paint came off on the lure itself. I don't think the black did, which is interesting, but the two high heat paints weren't really any shinier than the resin mold was originally. So not a good result. The worm oil is interesting. It's certainly shiny, but also I picked up like these odd deformities here and there. I think just probably too heavy of a coat kind of pooled it up in certain spots and caused an issue there, but it is shiny. So I'll give it that. But by far the most spectacular result was the sculpt resin that I painted inside the mold cavity. Look at this bad boy. The one on the top here the root beer and gold flake is the CNC from the original video. And the black one is the resin mold with the Sarai sculpt painted in there and cured. Dude, I think it's shinier than the CNC mold. So the great thing about this technique with the sculpt resin, it's the same exact material the mold is made out of. So it will last as long as the mold will last, which so far I'm on 120 shots with one mold I have. 
still going strong, no damage, no deformations or anything. It's great. The only real downside is obviously it's an extra process. After you print the mold, you then have to kind of paint in the cavities and cure it again. And again, I'm probably not going to do that because for me, shiny is not that exciting, not that worth the extra effort. But if shiny is worth the extra effort for you, this is how you get it done. So all my tutorials and videos on 3D printing fishing lures and molds are right here. And my new technique for getting even better finishes on lures and lure molds is going to be right here. Take care, everybody. Tight lines. <laughs>